Roku doesn't include an official YouTube channel. In fact, it seems like every time a third-party channel that streams YouTube videos gets added, Roku pulls it. Well, luckily, there is a workaround for this. Today I'll show you how to use a setup called Twonky, which lets you beam YouTube videos from your phone to your Roku. Let's get started. First, you'll need to do some setup on your Roku. So to do that, head to a browser on your phone or your computer and go to owner.roku.com slash add. Here, you'll be asked to add a private channel. Private channels are basically beta channels that you won't see available for download here, but you can still add them on the website. So over here, go ahead and enter my twonky and hit add channel. And within a few minutes, you should see the twonky channel show up on your Roku. Now that we have that set up, we have a little bit more to do on your phone. So go ahead and install the Twonky Beam app for your iOS or Android device. It's totally free. Once you have it installed, you'll see a landing page full of video sources that you can use to beam videos to your Roku. But today, all we really want is YouTube. Now, the next thing we have to do is connect your phone to your Roku. To do that, make sure your phone is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your Roku. Once that's set up, go ahead and swipe left from the home screen of the app and you'll see what I call your beam panel. Here's where we'll connect your phone to the Roku. Hit display device and then select Roku video player. Now that everything's connected, you're ready to start beaming YouTube videos from your phone to your Roku. Let's give it a try. So we'll go back to the home screen and click YouTube. You'll basically be taken to YouTube's mobile site. Here, find the video you want to play, select it, and within a few seconds you should see a beam button overlaid on the video. Hit that beam button, and if you did everything correctly, you should see that video buffering on your Roku within a few seconds. There it is. Now, while the video is playing, you can swipe left again to view the beam panel, and you can pause or stop the video right from this panel. Now, if you want to get fancy, you have a couple other options. The first one is video quality. If your Roku is connected via Ethernet and you have a pretty good internet connection, you can beam your videos in a higher quality. To do that, go to the gear icon in the app, select settings, and change the bandwidth quality to high. Also check out the Q option. You can set up a whole list of videos that will play one after another within the app. So swipe left to get the beam panel, and then click Beam Q off to turn it on. Now head to the videos you want to queue up, hit the beam button, and it'll be added to that list. And when you're ready to switch back to on-demand viewing, hit Beam Q on to disable it. So now that you know how to watch YouTube videos on your Roku, also check out the other channels that Twonky has to offer, like Vimeo, TED, or Funny or Die. Granted, some of them are already available on Roku, but you might find it easier to just navigate and beam them from your phone. As always, if you have any questions along the way, hit me up on Twitter. And check out howto.cnet.com for the written version of this tutorial. For CNET, I'm Sharon Backman.